Today we are at Baie Blancpain and I don't know if you remember but we came here last time to make a little parallel between the world of uh, supercars and the world of fine watchmaking. So today we're going to go a bit further and uh, deeper into the details of the production and especially the craftsmanship behind the different métiers d'art found at Blancpain. Enameling techniques have been used for centuries in watchmaking. The first reason was a functional one, for protective reasons. But soon the decorative characteristic of enameling has been introduced in watchmaking. So let's find out more here in the enameling studio of Blancpain. The base element of enamel is made of silica, or simply put, river sand. When heated to high temperatures, a chemical reaction occurs and this powder congeals itself and becomes irreversibly fixed. In order to obtain different colors, various elements are directly added to this base material. For instance, adding copper oxide will give you blue, silver oxide red, and by changing merely the percentages, you will have different tints of these colors. These powders are then mixed with water and applied delicately like paint on the dials. With this process, we can really talk about painted enamel and not paint on an enamel surface. To fix the design, the dial is then cooked at a temperature of around 800 degrees for a few minutes and this means that the artisan will often have to work in layers and stack them up until satisfied with his final design. A simple flaw and it's too late, you'll start all over again. Though enameling is very old, Blancpain is working on new technique that will bring new possibilities and we'll see this for sure in the near future. Engraving has much more to do with the decorative aspect of your watch. So let's find out more about the competencies that are behind this métier d'art. An engraver needs some good artistic skills, starting with the ability to draw what his imagination lets him think about. With this, he can already envision the volumes that he's going to work with, and some tough and important decisions are already made at this stage. The engraver then applies his design to the actual elements, which can be the dial, but basically any other part of the watch. Engraving brings a lot of refinement to the timepieces and this métier d'art may take up to a month to perform just for one single watch. And again, any mistakes and you start all over again, so concentration and calm are for sure needed. So what we see with those two examples of métier d'art is that it enables the customer to really personalize his watch to his own desire of design or interest. Uh, and it's really something that is very relevant in the world of high-end watchmaking. 